Hi, this is Deborah Stewart and welcome to my YouTube channel where I have been posting some different videos since April. Of course, I have some older ones from several years ago, but uh, trying to post some regular videos. And I've decided that this next year in 2021, I'm really going to focus more on making this an artist vlog. You know, a blog, I had to look that up, video blog. And uh, so I'm gonna focus on that and, you know, share some of my thoughts and some of the things I'm working on, some of my process. So it's not going to be uh, teaching videos, but there will be some instructional aspects to the videos. And I also may post some short segments of videos that I make for my Patreon channel, which is where I provide some art instruction for Patreon members. And the art instruction that I do on Patreon is both soft pastel and acrylic painting on canvas and paper. And a lot of it is non-objective abstracts, how to develop abstracts, but also some uh, abstract realism, like abstract florals and gardens and landscape. And some of those, especially with soft pastels. So I do share a lot of techniques and how to approach those different subjects and working with the medium. So if you are interested in learning more about those topics, I would suggest you visit my Patreon channel at Patreon slash Deborah L. Stewart. And so in this video, I'm just going to talk about some experiments that I've been doing lately where I've been preparing to get ready to work on some larger canvases and I am trying to incorporate some drawing media into my painting. So I've been, you know, just experimenting on paper, large pieces, small pieces, practicing some different things. And so that's what I'm doing here. So anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping. And if you want to follow me, be sure you sub uh, subscribe to my channel. And thank you.
Well, this is a practice canvas, and um, I'm trying to work some things out before I start some larger, more official canvases. So I've been painting on paper. I've done some small little studies. Uh, and so now I'm doing some practicing on some really, you know, cheap little canvases. And what I did here was I mixed some of my clear gesso that I usually use for my pastels. But today I thought I'm going to tint some clear gesso, which is what I did with some fluid acrylics. And I put that down on the canvas because I know sometimes canvas is slick and when you draw on it, it just, I don't like the feel of it because it's so slick. And I knew if I mixed some clear gesso with the, um, you know, put some fluid acrylic in with the clear gesso, it would give it a gritty texture that would be easier to draw on. So that's why I did that. And so I put that down and then I just dried it with my hair dryer and I took some other drawing medium, some charcoal, some graphite, some ink tents, art graph blocks, some um, water-based derwent uh, charcoal and I just drew on it. And then I did take some matte medium and brush that on top and some clear water and just to see what would happen. So now I've got this and I didn't have any um, composition in mind. I just want to practice so that I can see, you know, if this is going to work then that'll help me get started on those larger canvases. So, because my intention is I want more drawing in my acrylic paintings. So I want mark making, I want drawing, I want some fluid areas, I want some thicker areas, I want some of the mark making in the fluid underpainting to show through. So, um, that's what I'm working on. So now I'm going to start applying some paint to this and see where it goes.
Well, I'm going to bring this uh, video to a conclusion here. And this is my little painting. Like I said, it's just a little practice painting. But, yeah, there are things about it that turned out well. I wasn't thinking about composition or where I was going to place anything. I was just, like, playing around with things. And then as I was doing that, some things came to mind, like a walk I was on today with my husband and our little dog, and I saw some shadows of dried up plants that were on the sidewalk, and then I saw some really neat red um, branches. And so I thought, I really want to put those in, so now I've called it Shadows and Branches. So um, I plan to go back out and take some photographs of the shadows. They were really cool, and maybe incorporate those into some paintings. But you know, as far as this one goes, um, I think if I was going to do this larger, I would leave some more open areas. And I have, it's, you know, it's a little canvas. It's like 16 by 20. So there was a lot of space there, but there are things about it that I like with some of the fluid transparent areas and the mark making. And I'm going to stick with the color scheme which was a nickel azo yellow viridian burnt sienna some white and some mars black and a little bit of yellow ochre so i'm going to stick with those really natural uh, colors that i see in the landscape for a while until i feel like moving on to some other colors so anyway thanks for watching